It's not just your traditional etiquette school, that's for sure. I've noticed being here at Port Cole School that there are a lot of people from around the world with different backgrounds, different jobs, some for banks, some for big industries, for corporations, and others from the military. Uh, it's interesting to see all of them coming here to learn these techniques. Protocol is a dynamic field. There's many people doing protocol. They may not have the title of a protocol officer, but they're actually doing a lot of the same types of things. VIP, visits, ceremonies, seating at a boardroom. Protocol officer training is a five-day course. We start out with the fundamentals of protocol, order of precedence, how to rank people. They have to understand names, titles, and forms of address. How to address someone. Is it your excellency or your honorable? Many corporations today have flags. There's ways to hang the flag. There's ways to uh, display flags. And then we even get into gift giving. You know, gifts to people from other countries matter. What are great gifts to give? What are the gifts you shouldn't give? We cover etiquette and dining skills so that they know how to set a table appropriately. We also give professional development, ongoing professional development after the course is completed. We want them to continue growing in the field of protocol. So we cover it all. All the aspects of protocol we have covered in our protocol officer course. The instructors here are very energetic and professional and knowledgeable and it's been, it's been a great experience learning from them. There are several specialists in each particular area. Hi, my name is Mark Jones and I am one of the instructors here at the Protocol School of Washington. My primary focus based on my corporate background is really focusing in on leadership and legendary service. I was doing protocol for years and years and I didn't even know I was in protocol. I worked for 26 years at Disney. I was in charge of special events. And it wasn't until I met Pamela Eyring from the Protocol School of Washington that I even knew I was in protocol. I thought protocol was military and flags and something separate. What I found out is if you are doing events, if you're dealing with VIPs, if you're overseeing any kind of situation where, where groups of people or people are coming together to try and accomplish something together, you're in protocol and you need this course because everything you need to be successful is designed to be in this protocol training program. And I will be here for the rest of the day. <laughs> Hi, I'm Robert Hickey and I'm Deputy Director of the Protocol School of Washington. Students see me off and on throughout the training. Uh, I actually like to get to know the students, so I try and be there a little extra. Well, my favorite thing to teach is names and titles and forms of address, because that's the area that I have written a book on. And it's a topic that is endlessly fascinating to me because it's all about people. It's not really about the titles. It's about meeting people, starting conversations, and having those conversations develop into very positive relationships. Something. Hello, my name is Diane Brown and I've been with the Protocol School of Washington for the past seven years. I actually uh, am a retired military officer. Wasn't even sure I knew how to spell protocol when I was assigned to be a protocol officer, but finally ended up here in the Washington DC area where I was the Deputy Director of Protocol for the Secretary of Defense. Training? What training? There was no school or availability like the Protocol School of Washington that offered this type of program. It's actually one of the reasons I have such a passion for training, and particularly protocol training, because I don't want anyone to have to learn the way that I had to learn. The students in our protocol programs have lots of different life experiences from 20 years in protocol to one day in protocol, and they all say they walk away with something valuable. I think you get more in this one week of classes than you would in two or three other programs a week each. People hate boring training and, and we do too. So we are committed to having, there's lots of activities, lots of real world case studies, a lot of question and answers with people who have been doing protocol for 20 plus years in very high level areas such as the Smithsonian or the White House or the military or corporate America, Fortune 500 companies. And so we want to make sure that every attendee gets real life experience, real life application in a way that's actually enjoyable to learn. It's dangerous in here. <laughs> <laughs>
So it's expert training by experts and I think that's one of the things that sets us apart is um, we're not just reading a script, we've actually been out there and we've done the work. So we can tell you what worked, we can sure share with you what didn't, and then we can help you strategize for how to make it perfect in the future. When I'm back in the real world, in my environment, if I come across a question that I need help with, I do feel like I have the support and the backing of the school. You now suddenly have a network of folks that you can um, reach out to. I chose to attend the Protocol School of Washington because it has an excellent reputation. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. I was so excited, and now, now I tell everyone about it. My position has actually evolved in, in the organization that I work at just because I'm now a, a source, an expert on this field, and I was able to get that because of my training at the Protocol School of Washington. I have to tell you, serving my country in this capacity has been the greatest honor and experience of my whole life, and it's all because of protocol.